So uh, if you're watching this right now, you're probably like going through a breakup or your significant other's going through a breakup. And uh, that's all right. I'm here to let you know that you're not alone. Except that you kind of are, kind of a weirdo. No one's ever been through this before and that's okay because you're a pioneer in this field. But in all seriousness, there's two ways to break up with someone. There's either the wrong way, but in all seriousness, if you're looking for assurance or uh, guidance in this weird time that you're experiencing now, uh, this is a good place to start because I know absolutely nothing about this kind of stuff. But I'll try my best to give you advice on how to get through it. Now in a breakup, there's two ways to go about it. The wrong way and the right way. A lot of people have trouble about it going the right way. And the wrong way is definitely not something you want to get into. The right way, of course, being that you just acknowledge that you're not good together and then you cut it off and go your separate ways. That is the right way to do it. The wrong way, of course, being is that you hold on to this person uh, and you're clingy and you just don't want to let go, which is something I've experienced firsthand. Now for some people this is kind of a weird limbo because then you go into the dangerous field of becoming either friends with benefits, which is something you really should not be getting into, or you end up in the even weirder field of an open relationship, which is like friends with benefits, but you see other people and you don't really know if the other person is seeing other people and you're not supposed to be bothered by it. But of course you're going to be bothered by it because you love this person and you can't really stand the fact of seeing them with someone else. Which is really why the second way to break up with someone is not a good way to go at all. For you to get over someone, it might take days, weeks, even years to get over. Where was I going with this? The fact is, mourning is okay over a relationship. But there needs to be a time where you start and where you end it. Because you need to open yourself up to the possibilities of going into another relationship. Possibly better more beautiful relationship and that's something you have to look forward to. It is hard getting over the person that you just left but at the same time the vast frontier of the people that you can meet that may possibly be better than this person is a significantly wider array of people and you need to understand this. I mean staying friends with a significant other after y'all broken up is possible but it's not a good idea. And that's coming from someone who's done that for every relationship. And I can tell you that even though it's good to have a friend, uh, it's not good holding on to those feelings for somebody, you know? When you're mourning the loss of somebody, particularly somebody that you love, people tend to not eat and not sleep. But I'm here to tell you, if you're mourning a breakup with somebody, then the best thing to do is eat. Eat a lot. Eat everything that you or your relatives told you you really shouldn't eat, especially pounds at a time, late at night. And my other advice to you would be to sleep all day. Sleep until 3 p.m. if you have to. Only do this for maybe a week or two after the breakup. Because you need to get out there, find new people, and just experience life. If you can't experience life without one single person, then it's gonna be sad for you, and you need to learn to live by yourself. Take yourself on dates, do other things by yourself. Go sailing, go land kayaking, I don't care. I don't care what you do. Just do, just do, just do whatever you think is right for you. And that about covers relationship 101 with Janky Lake. Uh, I'm under a bridge, and I'll see you next time.